loses more than 200,000 hectares of forest in large parts due to production of charcoal. And the loss of forest contributes to global warming and destruction of the ecosystem and our habitat. Today on our business segment, Musonda attended the launch of a new brazier at the Swedish embassy that would do away with charcoal and help solve our deforestation problem. Take a look. Charcoal represents the primary cooking energy source for most households in urban and peri-urban areas in Zambia. Today on Kwacha Good Morning Business, I visited the Swedish embassy where they're launching a new brazier that will help solve these challenges. Let me first say something about Sweden. Sweden is a, is a country uh, which is geographically for being Europe quite big. We managed to develop very much based on also what this country has to develop on, on natural resources. One of our natural resources was iron ore and is still iron ore, but the other natural resources was our forests. I'm sure that we made a lot of mistakes also in the beginning of our developments, not taking good care of our forests. Sweden is to 70% covered by woods, covered by forests. And today, if you cut down a tree in a Swedish forest, you have to plant another one. It doesn't matter who you are, you still have to plant another one. Because we know that we need this natural resource and we need to take care of it. Today, we're here to look at one way of taking care of a natural resource that was also very abundant in this country once, and which is still there and needs to be taken care of, which is the forest. <coughs> and the part of caring for environment is something that we do have in common, and it's our joint responsibility on this planet. Chaco, as an energy source, has fundamental challenges and problems chief among which is its impact on forest and forest management, negative health impacts, as well as being expensive. It has therefore become imperative and urgent to find cleaner and more sustainable alternatives to charcoal, especially for poor urban households. Firstly, every year Zambia loses 250 to 300,000 hectares of forest, in large part due to the cooking and production of charcoal. The loss of forest contributes to global warming and destruction of ecosystems and habitat. Secondly, a major proportion of the population living in high density areas spend between 100 and 150 kwacha per month and it's one on cooking fuel, on charcoal, and it's one of the major household expenses. Thirdly, cooking with charcoal releases large amounts of carbon monoxide which is detrimental to the health, people's health, to the indoor air climate and can even be fatal. Charcoal prices have constantly been rising, driven by increased demand and reduced supply. Swedish Zamian Social Business Emerging Cooking Solutions now has a solution. It's sustainable waste biomass pellets used in gasifying cooking stoves are not only 40% cheaper than charcoal, but are also fast, clean and healthy. If, um, let's say 40% of the people that use electric stoves in our homes would turn to the stops that are available right now. Would be, uh, Zesco would be able to, to save a lot of power and hence they will reduce the load shedding. And when it comes to deforestation, we all know that um, charcoal is the main problem regarding the cutting of trees. Ambassador Lena just mentioned that in Sweden, when you cut a tree, you plant one. And um, in Zambia is not the case. All of us have traveled in the countryside, all of us have seen how much deforestation is going on, how many trees are cut each and every day. So if, if we all can turn to the solution that is at hand right now, then our trees will be saved at a great deal. Our forest would grow at a great deal. After years of trial and research, Imagine Cooking Solutions is starting to grow significantly and is currently looking for strategic partnerships to create a whole new industry for pellets and clean cooking stoves in Zambia. The energy crisis is real and the status quo is not an option. So 
recently we received a small grant from uh, our regional office with support of uh, CEDA Sweden. And uh, we looked at uh, a number of uh, private sector options that we could uh, really consider in the country. And um, of course, building on the relationship we've had with uh, Emerging Cooking Solutions, we provided them with a small grant to pilot uh, the, the model, the business model in Matero. We've just finished doing a baseline study in the area, but uh, we're also looking at uh, how we can bring on board civil society organizations in responding to the energy crisis. Now, having said that, let me just also quickly mention that as WWF, we strongly believe in uh, strategic partnerships and also coalition partnerships. But strategic partnerships are really great for us because they are underpinned by innovation, they're underpinned by scaling up uh, you know, uh, innovative approaches and also trying to be efficient and effective in uh, uh, the solutions that we try to offer. Uh, the problem of uh, energy in Zambia is highlighted by our high dependence on uh, charcoal, especially in the urban areas, and of course the high reliance on fuel wood in the rural areas. And uh, we are hoping that with this pilot study, or rather pilot uh, project that we're implementing with Emerging Cooking Solutions, we are going to learn quite a lot and it is our hope that we'll scale up this in, uh, initiative. Uh, in doing so, of course, we're looking at how this business model can also benefit uh, the underprivileged in the communities. It is hoped that this initiative will go a long way. Imagine Cooking Solutions is considered to be a global pioneer in the field of clean cooking stoves and fuels and was highlighted in a recent report published by Parliamentary Committee on Lands and Environment and Tourism. My name is Msonda Bwalia for Kwacha Business Report.